Hey, greetings from Just Car People Things. Mike here tonight uh, was not planning to shoot video content on the small disaster that I've made with the uh, the dash cluster here on our 2004 Toyota Tundra project truck. Uh, we just cleaned out the whole interior and now I'm uh, here I am making it dirty again. And uh, one thing that um, uh, I managed to do was pull the dash surround out. So this is kind of an interesting note. Um, these, this clips in into the dash. It's got two screws in it. You got to pull those two Phillips head screws. You also need to remove four 10 millimeter bolts in traditional uh, Toyota fashion, four tens. Uh, one's down here on the corner by the fuse panel. There's one right there, one right there, and then one down in the other corner. And that allows you to pop this piece of trim here loose right here, which this uh, dash trim slots into otherwise you're not really able to, to kind of work it out so you do have to just drop that just pop it loose you don't even take it all the way off and one thing um i was in here doing was we had a bad bulb and this takes a bunch of little tiny t5 uh non-led bulbs and this one is burned out and uh just just swapped one it was just one of our indicator lights inside of here very very easy to do took about five ten minutes uh and the way they work is they just you know uh kind of push in and screw in and there's all these you can see there's just a myriad of them underneath here that all power the the different lighting on this uh little piece of plastic basically that is our dashboard but one thing i noticed is man this thing is dirty and i mean really dirty like gross so i don't know how well you guys can see this but this thing is really kind of gnarly looking so what i've done um i wasn't planning to shoot a video so sorry for the the short notice and probably halfway video quality here but uh what i want to do is first i just want to clean this thing and uh you know honestly i think one of the good product for this is just the, the invisible glass it, it dries without a residue it's a foaming glass cleaner so all you do is you just come in spray your plastic down with it and just go ahead and just give it a good wipe and uh, you guys are going to be shocked by just how much better this thing probably looks just right off the bat. But um, one thing I find is, you know, you get an older vehicle like this and this sort of stuff never really gets cleaned. Right. And uh, there's not a ton of dirt you can see on there, but there's just like a, a little filminess to this. And it's pretty clear that there's kind of some embedded you can see that right there kind of some embedded stuff in it so what i'm going to do um after just doing that quick wipe down there and i don't want to rub dirt around is i'm going to take some mcguire's plastics which is specifically formulated for a like a lexan material like this in fact i wonder does that even pop off there is this going to be more trouble than it's worth this might be more trouble than it's worth let's just leave it in place so um i'm thinking about this and i might actually reinstall this in the into its into its space here real quick and just got to kind of manipulate it into there kind of manipulate it out of there <laughs> so right there and then there we go okay so that's actually how the cluster sits in the vehicle it's not secured there's four uh four little metal kind of screws right here that go in there one two three four but um, this will actually probably make it a little bit easier to work because we've got a nice solid solid backing to work on it from and What we'll do is we'll just come in. We'll take a clean uh, microfiber Applicator here we'll take a good amount of product because again, we're starting from a dry pad Kind of work it in a little bit to this pad just so we're working from a good workspace and just come in and give this a good quick scrub down uh, here from kind of stem to stern and so this will let us come through and the nice thing is you can go edge to edge on this right now. You're not fighting with that cluster surround that you're never going to be able to fully work through. And you can see this is a used pad on the one side. I had never used the other side. So you don't even have to have a brand new piece of microfiber to do this. But we're just going to come through moderate pressure, work this product until it just starts to feel a little grabby, kind of starts to dry a little bit and feels really thoroughly worked in. We're also going to come through before we button everything up and do a little de-dusting in here as well. It's definitely uh, some serious dust built up on the vehicle here. And I'm hoping you're not seeing the steering wheel. Here, let me pull the camera down a little bit. But you can see how the, the, the actual um, product is starting to look a little just kind of hazy almost. And that's a sign that you've worked it to a point where you know you're you're getting the abrasive fully out of it and it just starts to feel a little filmy rather than a, a little bit of a like a 
almost more of like a toothpaste. Um, and so we got, uh, you can see a little bit of kind of stuff on there. Now we did use that one side with the invisible glass. We're just going to use the other side we didn't use on this and uh, maybe give this a second to haze up and we'll just pull our light up here just to see, did we just address some of that spotting? And it looks like a little bit, yeah, actually quite a bit. There's still a few, few little spots left. You can always come back through. This is kind of the perk of, of utilizing this sort of setup. You can always come back through Get a little bit more product and uh, take another crack at it. So no downside to just really working that. If you see some spotting in there, it's kind of an easy way to take another, whoa, hello, take another crack at that. So this is this looks like a little bit of baked on something or other down here. So we're good there. We'll just keep working up and down back and forth last pass on this there we go a little more product and you can see that that's sort of getting a little just like filmy almost like it's almost like there's not much left there so this is now uh, kind of done its job sadly uh this is probably closing in on being a throwaway i don't usually save these especially i actually did the headlights you can see the, the garbage we pulled off the headlights pretty well uh in that uh, but this is the other side here we just used that was clean. So um, let's uh, let's come through and we'll set this guy down. And now that we've given that a minute to kind of haze up, we'll get the dry side of this right there. And we'll just come through and we'll wipe clean. And man, that looks brand new. Look at that. That is awesome. Wow, that looks perfect a little residue down there but that's awesome and so now that we've had much more space to work we've managed to make ourselves a really clean near new look near new i mean that's really great so we've taken something that was you know now been in this vehicle for 20 years and probably a little ugly looking right and we've suddenly eliminated nearly all the issues with it there aren't really any big scratches or scuffs in it We've polished a lot of that stuff out with a really kind of an all-in-one product. That plastics will help protect it. And uh, we'll go ahead and slap this thing back together and make sure all our dash lights are still functional. And uh, we'll be good to go from there. So appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. Appreciate you guys uh, liking, subscribing. Uh, this is just one of those quick DIYs. We're going to see how it turned out with our, uh, our steering wheel in relation. Maybe it was not in the right spot for you to see. But um, that was a pretty easy, uh, easy fix. And... Again, if you own a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket, I use my impact just to buzz things out a little quicker. But um, this is really an easy job. Uh, yet again, proving that uh, those folks at Toyota just really took the time to build a car that was really easy to work on, which I just can't say enough nice things about. So anyway, cheers, guys. Have a great night.